in this video we will discuss my senior grievous and do an exam review but before we discuss i have some important exam questions and get the answers after the topic is done so the first question is what type of antibodies are present in my senior grievous number two what's the location of acetylcholine and its receptors number three what's tensilon or adrophonium and how is it different from neostigmine number four What's the effect of repetitive nerve stimulation in myasthenia gravis? Number 5. What's myasthenic fatigue? Number 6. What's the mechanism of action of anti-acetylcholine receptor antibodies? Number 7. What are muscle kinase or musk antibodies? And number 8. What are the pathologic features in thymus in myasthenia gravis? Now let's discuss myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease that causes asymmetric descending weakness of the skeletal muscles due to decrease in acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. So there is asymmetric descending weakness due to decrease in acetylcholine receptors at NMJ. Where is acetylcholine and its receptor? Acetylcholine is at the presynaptic terminals and the receptors at the postsynaptic terminals. This is the presynaptic terminal and acetylcholine is present here in the vesicles and when the impulse is generated and it's released and it acts on the receptors here on the postsynaptic terminal to cause muscle contraction. So acetylcholine is released and it combines with the receptors to open the channel and what it does it increases the sodium influx to cause depolarization and muscle contraction. So how muscle contraction is terminated? Acetylcholine esterase enzyme is present at the site of action and acetylcholine esterase break or hydrolyzes the acetylcholine to acetate and choline to stop the muscle contraction. This is acetylcholine released from presynaptic terminal and combines the receptor the postsynaptically and causes muscle contraction. As long as this acetylcholine is attached with the receptor, contraction continues. But acetylcholine esterase breaks the acetylcholine and it stops the muscle contraction. And in myasthenia gravis, there is down regulation or reduced acetylcholine receptors. As I already mentioned that these receptors are present here at the postsynaptic terminal and there is a decrease in the acetylcholine receptors in the myasthenia gravis at the postsynaptic terminal. Why are acetylcholine receptors are reduced? The decreased acetylcholine receptor is due to antibodies at the neuromuscular junction. IDD antibody antibodies are produced in the thymus. They act to destroy the receptors. What type of antibodies are present in myasthenia grievis? Number one, acetylcholine receptor antibodies and number two, musk or muscle kinase antibodies. Anti-acetylcholine receptor antibodies are present in 80% of cases and most commonly in the ocular muscles. These antibodies are produced in the thymus. Thymus is enlarged in 75% of cases of myasthenia grievis. There is hyperplasia, germinal centers and muscle-like cells appear in the thymus which have the antibodies to acetylcholine receptors. What's the mechanism of action of anti-acetylcholine receptor antibodies? It acts in three ways. Number one, it blocks the acetylcholine receptors. Number two, the antibody causes endolytic breakdown and removal of the receptor. And number three, it also damages the postsynaptic membranes. When are muscle kinase or musk antibodies present? Musk antibodies prevent the aggregation of the receptors. When are they present and when are they absent? Musk antibodies are negative in acetylcholine receptor positive antibodies and in myasthenia gravis of ocular muscles and they are present or positive in 40% of cases of acetylcholine receptor negative antibodies. Clinical features of myasthenia grievis male female ratio is 2 is to 3 so more in female and more in younger female. Myasthenia grievis may be limited to extraocular muscles or it may be generalized to involve both extraocular muscles and the limb muscles. Eyelid and extraocular muscles are involved 
early in the disease and why it's there in the extraocular muscles because anti-acetylcholine receptor antibodies are present more in extraocular muscles so the features that involve eye muscles are more ptosis is the most common and diplopia also occur the other features are dysphagia due to weakness of the muscles of mouth and throat and may cause regurgitation and aspiration of the fluid and the solids there is weakness of the chewing muscles and his speech has a nasal wang and then what are the effects due to facial weakness in myasthenia gravis the facial weakness causes a snarling appearance on a smile and what about the limb muscle there is asymmetric weakness or fatigue not the paralysis of the proximal muscles of the limb the weakness of the skeletal muscle is more in the evening as the day passes on and it improves after rest just like angina is relieved on rest reflexes are normal and sensations are normal and what's myasthenic crisis myasthenic crisis occur due to respiratory failure due to diaphragm and intercostal muscle paralysis and And intercurrent infections are the most common cause of this crisis so intercurrent infection causing myasthenic crisis leading to respiratory failure now diagnosis of myasthenia gravis diagnosis done number 1 on clinical grounds number 2 tensilon or adrophenium test the test is positive if muscle strength improves on administration of tensilon 2 mg iv tensilon is given and the onset starts in 10 second and if no change occur 8 mg given at two different sites to observe the muscle contraction and what are the side effects of adrophenium increased parasympathetic activity that is bradycardia so the treatment of side effects of adrophenium is atropine iv 0.6 mg what's the difference between tensilon and neostigmine Tensilon is a short acting acetylcholine esterase inhibitor so prolonging the action whereas neostigmine is a long acting acetylcholine esterase inhibitor number 3 repetitive nerve stimulation is given and action potential noted in the muscles so what's the result of repetitive nerve stimulation in normal muscle there is no change in action potential amplitude whereas in myasthenia gravis there is 10 to 15% decrease in the action potential amplitude ct scan and mri are done in myasthenia to exclude intracranial lesions so what are the finding of ct and mri of the thymus it reveals an enlarged thymus where in the anterior mediastinum and number 6 test pulmonary function test is done to assess respiratory function treatment of the myasthenia gravis it may be a medical treatment or surgical medical treatment with anticholinesterase drugs which destroy cholinesterase which stops the muscle contraction pyridostamine but the side effect is increased parasympathetic activity and number 2 immunosuppression with glucocorticoid azathioprine plasma pharesis or iv immunoglobulins and these substances they remove the antibody and they are fast acting and the surgical treatment is thymectomy and what's the treatment of myasthenic crisis plasma pharesis or iv immunoglobulin now answers to the questions number 1 what type of antibodies are present in myasthenia gravis Uh, we already discussed number 1 acetylcholine receptor antibodies and number number 2 musk or anti muscle kinase antibodies number 2 what's the location of ach and the receptor and we already discussed it acetylcholine is in presynaptic position and receptor are postsynaptically question number 3 what's tensilon and how is it different from neostigmine already discussed tensilon short acting acetylcholine esterase inhibitors and neostigmine long acting acetylcholine stress inhibitor question 4 what's the effect of repetitive nerve stimulation in myasthenia gravis in normal muscle no change in action potential amplitude and in myasthenia 10 to 15% decrease in action potential amplitude question 5 what's myasthenic fatigue repetitive nerve stimulation causes increased muscle weakness or muscle fatigue number 6 what's the mechanism of action of anti acetylcholine receptor antibodies we already discussed number 1 blocked acetylcholine receptors number 2 causes endolytic breakdown and removal of the receptors and number 3 damages the postsynaptic 
membranes. What are muscle kinase antibodies? Muscle kinase antibodies prevents the aggregation of the receptors. Question number 8. What are the pathologic features in thymus in myasthenia? Thymus is enlarged in 75% of cases with hyperplasia, germinal centers and muscle-like cells which have the antibodies to ACH receptor that act on the neuromuscular junction to prevent the muscle contraction.